good morning Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida we're talking all about vaccination success in the Valley. We're also screaming for ice cream at a unique shop in Brownsville. We've got info on a 12 year old who's heading to the National Junior Olympics for boxing plus a celebrity fitness trainer helping South Texas health system patients get healthy for the fall. Now there's so much going on so don't go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, the number of vaccinated individuals in the Rio Grande Valley is rising, and people are starting to resume to normal activities. But how exactly can we do that? Well, anxiety and depression became increasingly common throughout the pandemic, and, and that can sometimes be tricky to deal with. So we went ahead and spoke with a local doctor who's working with patients to safely transition back to normal while prioritizing mental health. Go ahead and take a look at today's Safety Check segment. My name is Melissa Fuentes. I'm a family practice physician and I belong to VOP, Valley Organized Physician, uh, that works together with uh, improving the healthcare of lives of Medicare age patients in the Rio Grande Valley. I think that uh, all the border uh, towns were hit the hardest, I think, uh, uh, in the nation. And um, I don't think that there's a single person in the Valley who does not know of someone who has died from COVID. So I think that that helped uh, increase the vaccination rate and currently I know that Stark County has the highest vaccination rate at 80% for the whole RGV were greater than 74% for uh, at least one dose of patients of, uh, getting a vaccine at least one uh, which is higher than the state of uh, about 57% um, at least as of June 10th. So it is difficult because, um, you know, here in the Valley, we are starting to see a rise again of COVID cases. And, you know, we have seen patients who got COVID last year, got the vaccine and then got COVID again recently. So one of the things is, yes, I mean, it's really uh, protection to get vaccinated. However, it's still important to realize that not everybody is vaccinated and they uh, are. There are some people that um, have not gotten the vaccine. So if you're around them without a mask, you can get, you know, contract the illness. So even though, yes, we can kind of return to somewhat, you know, more normal state than we were last year, it is still, you know, advisable that we wear our masks, um, especially when you're in a situation where you don't know the status of those others who, um, you know, if they're not vaccinated, you really don't want to be without your mask. There was already a lot of anxiety and depression, especially in our younger population, even before the pandemic. Um, and it just made it much worse for not just them, but also our elderly population. And um, talking about mental health is hard. Um, there's a lot of stigma that surrounds mental health and illness. And many times uh, people don't want to talk about it, but you know, doctors are trained to be fact based and direct. So if you do feel like you are having some anxiety or depression, the best thing to do is, you know, let your physician, your provider know, because we're not mind readers unless you say something. And uh, there's a lot of things that we can do to help you. But, you know, definitely going out, um, you know, exposure to nature is very good for your mental health. It actually, um, just spending 20, 30 minutes a day in nature outside can help reduce our cortisol levels and it can also relieve muscle tension, which thus reduces stress. Um, the direct sunlight and fresh air um, also increases serotonin levels and endorphins and thus boosts, boosts our mood, fights depression, anxiety, and overall increases self-esteem. And I know it's really hot now, uh, but you know, maybe early morning, in the evening, with mosquitoes, but you know, just basically taking the precautions. But um, definitely um, spending some time outdoors gardening will definitely help with anxiety and depression. One thing is just, you know, saying, you know, I'm feeling this, is that normal? Um, if you notice any type of like loss of appetite, maybe thinking negative thoughts, uh, just worrying about a lot of things, irritability, moodiness, maybe having trouble concentrating, not sleeping well, um, finding that the day-to-day -day things that you were doing before a little bit maybe more difficult to do, um, seeing or hearing things that aren't there. I mean, there's a lot of different things that, that can 
uh, vary from person to person, but it can be as little as even as fatigue. We're seeing a lot of people just have fatigue and that could be, you know, a sign, of course, the physician will ask more questions, but fatigue can be a symptom of um, depression. Well, one thing is don't panic. I mean, that's very important. You know, don't worry, get your vaccines if you're not vaccinated. Um, Continue to wear your masks whenever you're in an area where there's, you know, a lot of people that you don't know their status of vaccination and just, uh, you know, go outdoors, enjoy, uh, try to um, do things that you enjoy and uh, eat right, uh, get plenty of sleep. And uh, if you uh, it, most there's a lot of sources out there. Um, so if you just Google whatever it is you're interested in, you know, you, you will be able to find some stuff. Uh, I think everybody kind of knows how to do that. But overall, just, you know, take care of your health because it is very important and you need to eat right and um, sleep well and uh, take your vitamin D or go out in the sun. And there you have it. Prioritizing your mental health is vital. And we hope that you can keep in mind these tips now as we get back to the new normal. And you can feel free to visit the Valley Organized Physicians website on your screen if you'd like more information. All right, well, summertime may be drawing to a close, but summertime snacks will remain. Everyone loves a good scoop of ice cream to satisfy that sweet tooth, so we went ahead and visited one shop in Brownsville that rolls their cold snacks in a unique way. Check it out. Hello, everyone. My name is Elise, and I'm the owner of Rolling with H&E. We're super excited to have you guys here. As you know, we're the only rolled ice cream shop here in Brownsville. Um, everything is like super fresh every day. We make it here at the shop. Um, as soon as you come in, like you're gonna see our super interesting cow wall, and then um, we do lead you on to the rolls, and you purchase your ice cream, and then um, yeah, you get to pick whatever you want. We have like every topping available. You get to make your own uh, cup, your own ice cream. We have our signature cups as well. You can always choose from your own or uh, like make it as you go. You know. Ice cream is definitely super fun already. It's already super sweet. It's already a super like, you know, like it makes you feel good when you're out, like when you're bummed out. But um, having rolled ice cream is just even like 10 times more fun. Um, I love serving rolled ice cream because I like watching people smile when I make it. They're like, oh, that's so interesting. That's so cool. And I'm like, it's pretty cool. I mean, I do it every day, but it's super cool, you know? <laughs> and I'm super excited that everyone gets to see like what I see, like have fun with what I have fun with, with my art. I mean, I'm not an artist, but ice cream is definitely my new art. And I'm definitely like super happy that every I get to share that with you guys. Valley is kind of super hot every single day, every time of the year. So ice cream is definitely a good snack to have um, at any time of the day. I mean, like early in the afternoon, at night, whenever you feel like it, ice cream is always going to be there for you. Um, and it's weather as well. Um, we do have a lot of different kinds of toppings here at H&E. Uh, we do have like fruit, we have cookies, we do have like um, like chocolate and stuff like that. So whatever you're feeling, like I'm sure we have it. If not, like if you tell us you want something, I'm sure next time we'll bring it for you. Like at my coffee leverage, we have coffee ice cream, we have cookies, we have chips ahoy, we have all kinds of fruit to make sure that we hit <laughs> your sweet spot, you know? <laughs> So you can definitely check us out on our Instagram, Rolling with H and E. It is Rolling with the letter H, the letter N, the letter E. Um, we have a Facebook and we have an Instagram. As of now, definitely follow us there. We post daily. We have our specials every day. We always have an ice cream for five dollars, so you can every like every day check it out, see if you like it. You want to come by? It's five dollars. 
Um, yeah, so it's definitely something different here in Brownsville, and we hope that you guys come enjoy us, uh, <laughs> enjoy our ice cream, you know, um, and we'll see you soon. Rolling with H&E makes satisfying that sweet tooth all the more easy and tasty. And you can feel free to visit their location in Brownsville if you'd like a scoop of the goodness. All right, well, it's time now to take a commercial break, and then we've got to look at your local weather updates. But be sure to stay tuned because Valley Por Vida will be back. And we'll be introducing you to a national junior boxer Olympic athlete who's got big plans for his future at the young age of 12. Those details plus more coming up.